enjoy the family that you chose, and here come Judas. Let me warn you, Judas coming to Thanksgiving. Just, just, just go and get it out your head. Judas gonna come. Judas gonna be at Christmas. Judas is a member of fellowship. Ju Ju Judas, have a watch this. They invited Jesus, but Judas came with Jesus. So, so wherever Jesus is in the room, no, Judas is in the corner. So I need you to have spiritual maturity to stop being on edge, stop being paranoid. Judas is closer than you think. And in this text today, Judas symbolizes the one who will betray. And we learn something else. He didn't just start being trifling when he betrayed Jesus. They trusted him with the money. And he was misusing the funds. And Mary is in there having a good time worshiping the Lord. And now he want to critique what she should have done with the oil. Well, you could have sold this and got some money. It's somebody who always thinks. They know what you ought to be doing. But the very ones who think they know what you ought to be doing ain't doing nothing. You got the biggest critique and you're on the sideline. You got the biggest critique and you don't bring anything to the table. And so instead of you losing your cool when Judas pull up for a plate, you got to do what Jesus did. Number one, you number one, I'm gonna write this down, write this down. Here's what he did. He did three things, he did three things. You got to be ready for Judas. You got to know how to respond to Judas. And you got to know how to restrain Judas. You got to be ready for Judas. You got to know how to respond to Judas. And you got to know how to restrain Judas. Restrain doesn't mean choke him. I know that's what the first place your mind went to, judge. But no, it does not mean choke him. It don't mean that. It don't mean that, uh, Deacon Eddie. It don't mean that. Deacon Tony, it don't mean choke them. Restrain means you limit how much power and energy you give them. Watch it now, watch it now, watch it now. I'm about to give you something that's real, real good. Jesus said to him, let her alone, verse 7. Jesus said, let her alone. She's anticipating and honoring the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you. You don't always have me. Jesus spends two sentences on Judas. Really in the message Bible it's three But technically it's two He only spends about two or three sentences on him And that's it Catch the principle Stop giving Judas all your energy Stop giving Judas Stop giving messy folks Stop giving antagonizers Stop giving agitators Stop giving difficult people all your energy You can respond but limit it Respond and restrain yourself Leave her alone, she minding her business Now that's it, that's all I got for you now Now if you push me, I got more to say But I'm trying to be spiritual Respond and restrain. Respond and restrain. You better tell somebody right. Respond and restrain yourself. You can address it. Here, but she should have, she should have, she should have. Jesus said, leave her alone. She's preparing this. She did this as an act because I'm going to die soon. And she doesn't know if she's going to get a chance to honor my body and pour these oils on my body when I die. So this is an act of appreciation, not for what I have done, but for what I am going to do. I'm going to go to the cross for her and watch this. And Judas is going to help me get there. So I need Judas because can't nobody push you into your purpose like Judas. So Judas has an assignment you just got to keep your maturity i'm trying to help you judas is going to teach you how to pray judas is going to push you to your purpose judas is going to make you a more sensitive compassionate man judas is going to help you learn that what's most valuable is not always the mess but you got to reach for the master judas is going to help you mature yourself who in here can be honest that the pain of your family made you better? Some stuff you've gone through in your family made you a more compassionate and a more loving person. The most difficult people in our families, in our lives, always come to push us to our purpose. Because one day you're going to meet another Judas at your job and you're going to say, oh, I've been knowing Judas since I was seven. You ain't new. I, no, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. <laughs> 